Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am at Sam's Jumps in his back garden and I'm going to be having a little session on my jump bike. If you guys watch Sam's videos, which I'm sure you all do, you might have seen that I had a little session with him quite recently and it was actually super fun. So I decided I'd come here whilst he's away for a few days, have a little session on this hip jump here behind me. And yeah, we're literally just going to get straight into it. I'll get up the top, see what tricks we can do. So then, up the top of the jumps, this is where we roll in for this jump, basically. Sam would obviously hit it on this big line, but it's quite the gap for someone of my skill level. <laughs> um, so, literally just going to drop in, hit it once. I actually think I have to move that wheelbarrow in a second, then I'm going to do some tricks. Quick little test. Very small and easy, we definitely need to move this though. Alright, let's get up there again, hit it a little bigger, and then get some tricks. Nice. So that hip isn't actually my way. I prefer going left, even though that's oppo for my foot position. But I'm going to try and do a toboggan on there now. Should be a good angle. Quick tease. Wow, that's pretty good. Jumped it quite straight, but yeah, that's it. I'm now going to try and do a 180 fakie out of it. See how that goes. Let's try it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. That wasn't that good. Oh, no! Yes! Yo! That was so weird. Wow. Hang on a sec. What's this? Is that... Oh, that's Skillshare, the sponsor of this video. You may be asking, what on earth is Skillshare? Well, Skillshare is an online learning platform. Not only is it good for people that want to learn something new, it is epic for people that want to deepen an ability that they've already got. For example, I've actually found some courses for you that you might like. One, how to shoot on your iPhone, which is sick if you want to start vlogging. Two, how to actually edit vlogs. You can all start YouTubing. And then three, ways to take action sport photos, which is sick if you want to get some banger shots of your mates down the woods. More specifically, how about this class from Cello de la Paz? It's called iPhone Videography, how to shoot and edit on your iPhone. And one of the main takeaways from that course, who wouldn't want to start vlogging on their iPhone? It's well easy. Even better, there's new classes all the time, no ads, and even all the classes are in Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, and French. You might be thinking, yeah, sick, but what's the point in you telling me all about this if there's nothing for me to take from it? But if you sign up now, especially in September, you're gonna get one month free trial and you can look up other classes, see if there's anything on there that you like, and then continue your membership from there on. So then, that is the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. The link's in the description. Let's get back on with some sick riding. I'm actually feeling like I'm on a 270 this now, after that 180. I think I'm just gonna go full send. Did it in Sam's vid. See if we can do it like a bit higher than I did it in his video. Oh, my bars are so out of line. Right, and sorted that out. Let's land something. Easy. I wanna go, I wanna try and go bigger this time. That's quite nice. Let's get a quick shot on the tripod with that, because that's actually so much stoke. Still pretty small, but I haven't ridden this jump bike for ages, and I was never really that good on it anyway, so stoked to get that down. I've actually got one more trick to do. I think I'll be able to can this, so let's put you back on the chesty and give it a go. The can is actually one of my favorite tricks but they're quite difficult on jump bikes because the standovers weigh more than a bmx and i ride bmx normally but we'll give this a shot i've done it on an e before so it shouldn't be too difficult oh my god kick my hand I always do that so i'm obviously like i need to kick further inwards oh my god I took ages to get out and click i kicked my hand again let's get another angle of that one because it doesn't look that good on the chesty i 
I wasn't actually gonna take that one when I did it, but looking back, it's actually such a funny clip, so we'll take that. It's getting quite dark. Sun's gone down behind the trees, which is a sign of the end of the day. So I am going to wrap things up at Sam's Jumps now and think of something else to go and ride. Could be a skate park sesh, could be a car sesh, and it also could be an F1 simulator sesh because I just bought a simulator rig. Just randomly got well into F1 and then had a steering wheel from years ago that was just on like a little stand and I was like, oh, this is so fun. So then I was like, oh, I might buy like a proper chair and that and just sent it and it arrived today. It's actually the best thing I've ever gamed on in my life. So I'll probably show you that at some point, but let's get out of here. So then, it's a pretty, pretty horrible day today. Uh, it's literally just been raining the whole day since I woke up. I was trying to think of something to do on the bike, but I couldn't really think of anything fun to do in weather like this. So what I have been doing today is I did actually go out for a little drive in the Beamer here, and then I realized I haven't actually shown you guys this car yet. So I want to give you a little look around. I got this tiny little spot somewhere where I might do a couple of spin arounds, see if we can get closer. Lit, 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 Let's have a look lit, at this Beamer. This is a 2004 318i E46 and it's a pretty fun little car. I picked it up mainly because my main Kia was having quite a lot of issues. I didn't have a car for about three weeks so I was just like I've got a spare bit of money, might as well get something fun to just have a roll around in whilst my other one's being fit. Despite its low power of only 140 brake, it still slides if you want it to, which I will demonstrate to you right now. So I'm going to put the camera down on a tripod, try and do a little drift, see what happens. <laughs> Pretty cool little drift section there. I don't want to destroy the car park too much though, even though the floor was like that before. It literally looks like some sort of dig has come through here, to be honest. But that's enough of that, so I'm gonna head home. So then, there we have it. That is the end of the session. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do actually any cool drifts upon looking back at all that footage. They were literally the worst things ever and the crappiest angle I've ever actually filmed of anything, I think. That was like such a bad call from me thinking it looked good from there. But anyway, I've got to go and take this Kia to go and get an MOT before a little trip up to the Lake District. So you might see some stuff from that on my Instagram. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this jump bike video and if you want to see anything else like that in the future or even some proper drift stuff. Just give me a message. Let me know. See you later.